<laughs> Let's start over. How do you fight fair? How, what's, what's First of all, you pick your battles. We know where each other's buttons are. We know how to push them. We know how to back off and just go into the other room and let it lie. We talk all the time. And um, I know where I can go. I'm well trained after 50 years. <laughs> I know where I can't go. Yeah. And right. she knows the same. So right. it just works. It just works for us. My motto is I can either be right or I can be happy. I just take the happy road. Yeah, that's exactly and it works. Right. It works. Yeah, I'm good with that. It works. It, it works you know, for Steve, us. You know what, what we did early on in our marriage, we were married for about a year, and um, we had a pretty big blow up. Well, we decided that we would set rules. Rule number one, and we still live by it today, we do not allow the volume to go past five. Wow. So we don't go up to six or seven, it stays right at five. Yeah. All right, and then we also decided that we would never call each other out of their names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she, she won't talk about the size of my head and, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> and I won't call her this, that, or the other. You know, it should be about being in God's will. Well, and I so feel that's, like that's, our, that's, that, that's the key to our arguments. Yeah, I feel, yeah. yeah. With, the biggest thing with us is that Whenever we have an argument, I never bring up something that happened from the previous argument right. because obviously what? I forget. I, you I, don't. I don't because it just comes in and out and But that's, you that's know. really the great thing about her. That's one of the reasons why I married her. I don't, I don't, even when we have a conflict, it's like when we get past it, she's past when, it. When I forgive she, you, it never comes it's back done. Back. And when it's I forgive you, like, it's great. totally forgotten. Yeah, it's I don't even with. remember. It's over with. We a, a, a lot of people would do well to service that. Mm -hmm. If you're going to keep bringing up the past, then you didn't forget it yeah. and you didn't forgive That's it. That's right. So now, That's obviously, right. still a problem is so you're supposed to forgive and forget. Can I say one more thing, though? Yes. The best thing about arguing, though, is making up. Mm -hmm. And, um... When we make up, it's a, it's a good thing. I'm a, now, Paula, I, I, let, let, let me ask you guys. How do, how do you all handle it? In the beginning of our marriage, about after two years, it was blissful for the first couple of years. We didn't know how much we were going to argue. <laughs> and we moved to New York City. There was this morning that um, we had the very first explosive fight of our marriage. And I said, you are a lousy husband. And he looked at me and his face just like yeah. totally went blank. And he let, and when normally we would walk to work together, he left and slammed the door. It's like we were in this, we were in this walk up and it just slammed the whole building when he slammed the door and left. So I left about 10 minutes later. But right about that time, everybody started running across the street and screaming. And I looked up. And I just as I looked up just after the plane flew into the first tower. Oh, wow. And my husband was going downtown into the World Trade Center. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so I lived with that for about four or five hours. Is that going to be the last thing that I said to him? Wow. Yeah. And after that, we've had some, we've had some ugly fights because they happen. Yeah. Right? But after that, we knew we need language. We need, we need a way to to disagree with each other. We need a way to get on the same, um, to get on the same plane and to never say something and leave right. or go to bed That's, with, yeah, with that type of that. anger. That's good. Yeah. Steve, we've been married a long time, but we, our agreement is we'll never go to bed mad. That's right. We Let's work it out. Go to bed mad. Give each other a good night kiss, which we do every night, and it's worked. Mm -hmm. See, that, that's a good one now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you something. Fellas, try to live by that don't go to bed mad because I got news for you. If you go to bed mad, you gonna wake up and be okay. When she wake up, she madder than she was last night. Cause she done thought of some more stuff in her sleep. You in a world of trouble, man. Everybody stick around. We got more Marriage Real Talk when we come back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.